It's all for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 13. When I came to verses 18 and 19 in this chapter, we see the prophet of God, Elisha, telling a certain king to strike the ground with an arrow. And he strikes it three times. But Elisha told him, you should have struck it five or six times. And in so, and in so many words, what he was saying is he should have had zeal, envy for the things that what he wanted to do in life and pursue. And for course, he only did it three times. He was only given a partial victory. Oftentimes we think of the word zeal. And if you see that word in the Bible, Z-E-A-L, basically what it means is envy. Oftentimes we think of zeal or envy as a bad thing. Envying somebody else's possessions, coveting what they have, and that's true. It's sinful. However, envy in and of itself is not sinful. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ fulfilled Psalm 69, verses 7 to 9, when it speaks about how he had envy and zeal for his father's house. So much so when he was on this earth, twice he went into the temple in John chapter 2, verses 13 to 17, and Matthew chapter 21, verses 12 to 17, you can read in those passages of Scripture, that Christ went into the house of his father and basically went angrily crazy in there and tore apart the temple. We think of anger as a sin. We're told in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26, be angry and sin not. Anger is not a sin. However, we need to be careful when we're angry, who we're angry with, why we're angry with someone, and when we're angry with someone. What is the motive of our heart? Christ got angry. We too should be angry. We should be angry at sin, our own sin in our own lives. Oftentimes we think of another passion like jealousy as being sinful. Jealousy is not a sin. A matter of fact, God's name in Exodus chapter 34 verse 14 God is called jealous. His name is jealous. God will not share his worship and praise with any other God. I should be jealous at times in my life for my wife. I would not want my wife to be sharing her emotions with another man. That would make me jealous. That's a good jealousy. My friends today, we need to remember first and foremost that we are to be envious, zealous, jealous for our commitment to the Lord. Waking up early in the morning, what do we do first and foremost when we get up in the morning? Do we put on cable TV to see what's going on in the world of politics? Do we see what was going on in sports? Our sports team won. In 2008, there was a national football uh, championship game between the University of Florida and the University of Oklahoma. In that game, there was a football player by the name of Tim Tebow. You might have heard of him. He made national attention because under his eyes, he put under his eyes John 3.16 when the game was being played. Some 90 million people hit that on the internet, what John 3.16 meant. You would have thought many people would know what it means, but it's, it's good that many people searched it and Googled it. And it reminded me that this young man... And now I'm sure he's getting a little older now. But this young man had a zeal and envy for the Lord to go on national TV and put on John 316. In a day where so many sports stars, and I used to be a big fan of sports, but I don't watch it much anymore. So many sports stars are into politics, their own ego, pride, uh, anger. You see a lot of bitterness and anger. But it's good to see a story or hear a story either, either now or in the past of a young man or woman who's not ashamed to show their commitment to the Lord. Today, my brothers and sisters, I encourage you to follow the example of Jesus Christ in your life, who when he got up early in the morning, I have to remind myself in my own personal life in Mark chapter 1, in verse 35, we read that he got up early in the morning when it was still dark go up to a mountain to spend time with his Lord, his Father. I hope today we learn to put aside the, the problems that we had in the past, the, 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 the fallings that we had in the past. Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to 14, the Apostle Paul reminds us, forget about what was in the past, the mistakes you made, but press forward 
Learn to surrender all more and more to the Lord. Judson W. Van Deventer, I hope I said his name right, it's, it's a tongue twister. He wrote a song in 1896 that we still sing today. You might not have heard of him, he's not very well known, but the song he wrote some over a hundred, well over a hundred years ago, we still sing today called I Surrender All. Now, none of us do that perfectly, but let's have a desire from the heart, an honest, earnest, ongoing desire to truly be envious for the things of God, to be truly jealous of God's name, to truly be committed to him more and more. As I said, in our society today, we often think of the words jealousy and envy in a negative way, and it can be, can be sinful. But just like sex between a husband and a wife is perfectly fine, but outside the confines of marriage, it's wrong, any other desire whether it's in the commitment to God, under his rulership and his word, it is fine. It's when we go outside of God's commands, outside of God's will, that's when we get into trouble. I hope today we learn, my friends, to truly, throughout the course of the day, and as we press forward, as I said in Philippians chapter 3, verse 12 to 14, have we always surrendered all? No, I know I haven't. I always fall short. But I press forward. Press forward, wanting to serve God more and more. And that happens when you learn to die to self each and every day. The late evangelist Billy Graham used to say, you come closer to God and you come to the beginning of God more and more in your life when you come to the end of yourself. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today, Lord. I pray that we all would learn to have an earnest, ongoing desire to truly serve you from a broken and contrite heart. Humble us, O oh Lord God. Forgive us of our pride when we've exalted ourselves and our own feelings and emotions. And let us truly be envious and jealous for you. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you all today, my friends. Stay in the word and may the word keep you.